I think the most beautiful portion of it is whenever the sun rises and you see a whole park at sunrise uh, on the horizon and, and you see that as, as almost an ocean of wind turbines. Or at dusk whenever you see the, the beacons start to come on and, and you, you, you see that grandeur across the plains and uh, the lights and uh, everything, it's, uh, it's all in, impressive really. We were seated together at a dinner party and I said, tell me the good, the bad, and the ugly of the wind farm on the ranch. And he said, fine, which, uh, where do you want to start? And I said, well, let's get the bad and the ugly out of the way. And he said, oh, that's easy, there is none. When the first turbines were built, never would have imagined that, that there would be the impact that there is today, you know, there's many wind turbines out here and many different companies and jobs and opportunities. Well, I think, I think the wind energy has a lot to offer for the younger people because there's a lot of jobs in the wind industry. There's a lot of work involved building a tower. You just can't slap one of those things together. When you do this kind of work, you have to know how to, how to weld real well and gouge real well. The wind might be blowing, but you're going to have to sway with it, you know. I feel very honored to be one of the three that can do that. Wind is one of the best economic development tools that, that these states have ever contemplated. I've had county judges look at me and say, this is bigger than the railroad. You know, in the 1800s, when the railroad came to town, it was a, a huge economic boom for those areas. Wind is the same way. I've never seen a project draw so many people to this to this town or this area and had such an impact as this wind farm. 